Clinton is leaving behind 2019, arguably one of the most controversial years at City Hall. 2019 has been particularly challenging, and uh, you know we'll overcome that. Uh, it's just files that we have to manage, and uh, we'll continue to do that. Last year got off to a rocky start when it was discovered that a 2013 study that found that the Red Hill Valley Parkway was more slippery than it should be was buried and not shown to city council. <laughs> then there was the violence at the Pride event in June. Many in the LGBTQ community accused the mayor, Hamilton police, and some city councillors of dismissing their feelings and concerns. Protesters even showed up at the mayor's home. The violence at Pride was followed by months of protests against the yellow vesters at City Hall. Many in the community saying that the group spews hate in a city that ranked number one for hate crimes last year. And then there was the 24 billion liters of sewage that flowed into Shadok Creek. City Council kept the extent of the massive spill a secret for the better part of last year. The mayor of City Hall needs to spend more time listening to people. More open and transparency with the public and the community. When it comes to transparency, the mayor says he'll do what he can. There's always going to be issues of confidentiality when it comes to contracts or employee issues. But the reality is that uh, we want we want as, as transparent as humanly possible in all, in all things that we do. To make matters worse for the mayor, the year ended with the province pulling out of the LRT. But I'm still hopeful that we can uh, salvage something out of this process. The outrage over the many controversies have caused some to ask the mayor to resign. It's silly. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm determined to uh, continue to do the great job for another three years. And we shouldn't be defeated by these issues. We should be emboldened by them and learn from them. Like Learn from them, and you're probably going to vote them back in again. I remember when I had my shirts coming out here saying, all of them for jail, corporation fraud, property fraud, wanting to take away private meetings, private sectors. Here's your facts right here. Here's one of my shirts. F Bell Media, I'll make Rob Ford a Girl Scout. Here's me right up front. Don't value any garbage. My other shirts had it right down from Johnson all the way down to Partridge with the mayor there for jail. People were laughing. Water sewage and he's going, no big deal. You know how many people were sick for that? Of course, back in 2013, the Red Hill Creek $260 million lawsuit. No one should worry about that. You have your NDP party coming out here. Over the LRT the next day, you had your mayor lying to you. Well, I told you at the debate, $5 million. You want me to come out here in Hamilton, Ontario and work with fucking that? Toronto. I hope you understand why I'm coming there to work with you people. If you look at this nonsense that you just see of a mayor who doesn't give a care, of a city, even though he's done this wrong, but what about your other council members who kept it quiet? Every new person out there in your old is always going to be your old. Hamilton, Ontario, you are a fucking sad city. I would never help your poverty, but Toronto, I am coming there to work with your council members because I've never seen it on the news. It ever looking like fucking that.